Hello, welcome to Marine Connection. My name is Damien. We're down here at the water today and we're going to be showing you another great boat by Marine Connection. It is a 2003 Cobia 254 and it's powered by a pair of Yamaha F-115 four-strokes. Now, our service department has done a mechanical over evaluation on them and everything has checked out fine from compression and lower units and whatnot. The steering is hydraulic and that's in good shape as well. Motors have 346 hours on them, um, but uh, as you'll see in the video, they run great. So we're going to start at the back of the boat, work our way forward, and then we're going to take the boat out for a quick spin to show you how she runs. Starting at the transom, on either side we have two swim platforms, and over on the port side we do have a recessed boarding ladder, okay, three-step ladder, give you easy access on and off the boat for those of you who like to do some uh, diving, snorkeling, and just over hanging out at the sandbar, easy access on and off the boat. You also have a grab handle over here off to my right. Two stern cleats are mounted on the uh, back side of the boat as well. At the center of the splash well, you have access down to your bilge pumps and whatnot. Easy access to that for maintenance. And then coming to into the cockpit, we have a transom door. For those of you who like to do a little offshore fishing and whatnot, easy access for those large fish that you put on the boat. So uh, conveniently located up to the port side. Directly at the center of the transom, we have two seat cushions. And the 254 is equipped with a rear bench seat backrest, okay? Uh, does fold down, gets out of your way, convenient. The uh, seat cushions are also removable. They do have their snaps and whatnot. Underneath the uh, right seat cushion, we have our live well, large recirculating live well, probably about a 45 gallon well. Does have its pump and that's uh, operational at this time. And then over to the left, we have an access door down into your uh, battery compartment. This boat is equipped with dual batteries and switch. Top of the gunnels, four mounted rod holders, vertical rod holders. And then underneath the gunnel tops, we do have combing bolsters on either side and then under gunnel rod storage. At the center of the cockpit, large leaning post with a four rod rocket launcher and a grab rail. You could definitely slide a cooler underneath there and strap it in for your refreshments and whatnot. And then T-top, as you can see, is in excellent condition. The aluminum's in great shape. It's uh, basically, it's a brand new top. Four rod rocket launcher across the top. The canvas is in excellent shape as well. Coming forward up to our helm station, we have our Yamaha digital gauges. They do have the fuel management system on there. Off to the right, we have our Lenko trim tabs, and they are equipped with the uh, auto retract. So when you shut off your motors, the trim tabs will automatically retract, and that's good for people to keep their boats in marinas and whatnot. You're not going to cause any damage to your trim tabs. Our rocker switches are down below. We have our horn, nav lights, uh, accessory switches, live wool pump, and bilge pump. Have gone over most of the, the accessories here, and everything is uh, does seem to be operational at this time. And then our throttles for our uh, Yamahas. 12 volt accessory outlet, little tackle storage, cubby holes, and a little more storage off to the left. Perfect for cell phones, wallets, and whatnot. And we have two cup holders off to the right. You do have a compass that's located directly uh, center of the helm here, so it'll give you good heading if you're doing a long distance run. And then over to the left of the console, there is access down into the uh, head compartment. The console is equipped with an enclosed head, does have a porta potty down right now there right now and uh, you'll see that in the pictures. Notice the height on the gunnels. Very safe boat, okay? For those of you who have children and whatnot, uh, they come up to my thighs on this particular boat, so very safe. Nice little uh, low profile grab rail coming up alongside on the bow. And then in front of the console, there is a seat cushion with backrest and then underneath the seat cushion, we do have additional storage or you can use it as another uh, cooler, it is plumb, does have a drain. Directly in front of that, down in the deck, they have a storage compartment. And then on either side of the casting deck, we have two more storage compartments or fish boxes, whatever you want to use it for. They're both plumb, they run forward, so nice size storage. Uh, everything down below is nicely finished as far as the fiberglass goes, easy to clean. And then all the way forward, we have our bow pulpit with two running lights. The boat is equipped with two bow cleats, two midship cleats as well. And then we have a very large anchor compartment directly uh, behind the bow pulpit. So 
that pretty much uh, concludes the top side of the boat. Notice in the pictures and whatnot, the gel coat is in very good condition. Uh, the outside of the boat's in good shape as well. There's a couple little nicks and scratches here and there, but overall I see the boat's in very good condition. The uh, upholstery, good shape, little bit of staining on this front uh, backrest, and you'll see that in the pictures. And then the motors, like I said before, we did go over them, they run great. So uh, let's fire them up and take this puppy out for a quick spin. Good to go. That concludes our presentation on the 2003 Covia 254. I hope you enjoyed it. Boat runs great, folks. It handles great. Um, the steering's nice and easy. Steer the boat, very responsive. Um, 115 four strokes, sit fuel. Top end, maybe 17 gallons an hour. I was doing a cruise and I was only burning about nine and a half gallons an hour. So that was about a speed of about 28 miles an hour. So uh, definitely whole shots there with the motors. Gel coat looks great. The upholstery's in. Oh, good condition doesn't have to be replaced or anything like that t-tops in great shape so whoever purchases this boat will be making a good investment god bless have a great day